Questions for Coach? All right, Coach, I guess we'll start off by maybe just uh, thinking about the, the 20 years that have passed. Does it feel like 20 years have no. passed since that season? It absolutely does not feel like 20 years. It feels like it was yesterday in a lot of ways. Uh, but when you look back and you see all those guys walking through with children now and jobs and doing other things, it's uh, – it's really great to see to, that's, that, that you were part of that. 18 to 22 is a big, big age for kids to go from basically adolescence into manhood, and that was a special group of young men to be around. And but no, it doesn't seem like 20 years. How connected are you still with uh, a lot of those players on that team? A, a lot of them I see I see quite often, especially now that I'm you know back back in the athletics because they're you know they come around here even more but you know when I'm speaking in a city or around somewhere they always come back and say hi and a lot lot through text and emails and just just phone calls so you know quite a bit but you know we hadn't gathered uh, in a while I guess it was uh, we did it at 10 I think probably and and uh, look forward to this one because it's this is gonna be a, a great turnout of guys I, I don't know of, of anybody that's not coming right now which is exciting. Plus, we're we're going to be able to to bring back, uh, you know, some of the staff, you know, that I hadn't seen in a while. Uh, they're, they're they're scattered everywhere that you know have retired or, or whatever, and uh, you know the, the the team doctors and everybody. So it it'll be a really fun time for us. So many memories, I imagine, as you look back on that. But is there one or two that always seem to stand out to you more than another? Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to even define that from what what's off the field and on the field. On the field, there's just tons of moments, you know, that that really, really made a difference. But I guess the best memory was it was how that team came together, you know, early. Uh, you could tell in the off season and spring, you know, they kind of had that chip on their shoulder and were looking forward to proving people wrong. You know, we'd lost a bunch of guys to pro football, three first rounders and I think we were picked third in the East, you know, or something like that at the time. And, you know, they definitely had a chip on the shoulder. And Al Wilson, you know, really, and, and T. Martin did as well, but, and a lot of guys in different ways. But Al Wilson, in a lot of ways, took that team on, its, on his back, you know, and, and took it to a, to a level that um, was at, at least on par you know, with with uh, the, the teams that we, we we had had, I've said this a number of times. There's probably uh, probably three or four teams that were actually better physically than than that team, uh, but they raised their level of play and got it up to rip par, and then we you know were able to get, get win all the games rather than having one along the way that that knocked us out. I want to pick your brain kind of on a few different matchups throughout that season, starting with that opener on the road at Syracuse. That almost went in a different direction there yeah, yeah. without Jeff Hall's kick. And it could have, you know, it could have. Uh, it, was a, it was a great game. It was amazing to me how hot it was in the Carrier Dome. And, you know, we got pretty hot weather here in the south as we prepare, but uh, <laughs> the Carrier Dome, which is carry air conditioning, and they didn't have air conditioning in the dome. It was so hot. In September, and both teams, you know, really struggled with it, particularly late with the heat. But they were a very talented Syracuse team, and and uh, you know, as it as it turned out, as you said, we had the final drive to go win the game, which nobody knew was going to be that was going to be kind of a theme for that team during the course of the year to come back. Do you remember if there was anything said after that game? Uh, I noticed on the schedule you look at it, 33 points for Syracuse scored, but then. A team didn't score 20 or more points against y'all for seven games. Yeah, we we were really disappointed in our in our defensive numbers, you know, because they I mean it, it, they they moved the ball kind of at will at different times. And uh, looking back, we we had no idea they were going to be that good of group of players. You know, they had the great quarterback, you know, the receiver that was really good. Uh, I mean, they were really had a fine offensive football team. So after we got six or seven games into the season, and you, and you look back, and they were still undefeated. They went on to the Orange Bowl, I think, at that after the season. Talk about some of the guys that coached with you during that time and mm -hmm. where they are now, and how you keep up with them still. Yeah, we keep up with all of them. Most, you know, most all of them. Uh, of course, Coach Chavis is at Arkansas now after being at LSU, and and. Um, 
and uh, A&M. Uh, you know, he was certainly a rock for us. Uh, David Cutcliffe has gone on to be a great success at Duke. Probably overall in the whole country, in my opinion, has done the best job coaching uh, of any other program with what he has to work with there and what he's made out of the Duke football program. Uh, Steve Caldwell and I stay in touch uh, a lot. We have homes together close up in the mountains so we see each other and spend time in the summer. Same with Dan Brooks who had went on and won another national championship at Clemson. Uh, those guys are, you know, wonderful, wonderful friends. And uh, we, you know, we all, Randy Sanders, we all stay in touch. So uh, it's good to see them go on and, and continue to do well. For that second matchup against Florida coming back home after Syracuse, uh, you know, it was 20 to 17, you know, all the way down to the wire, really. Yeah, well, a lot of the Florida games have been been that way and some of them and uh, we had not found ourselves offensively to be honest and, and Florida was a very good defensive team probably not as good as Syracuse but we just we just weren't executing particularly in the passing game at, at that point and but we made enough big plays on offense big plays uh, run by Bryson and a you know reception by Peerless Price and a kick you know obviously in overtime uh, to win the game and their defense played lights out. I mean, they just played outstanding, got the turnovers we needed in the ball game. Um, and, uh, you know, as, as a staff, I think we, we, we played it close to the vest offensively and it, you know, it worked out. You, you do that sometimes, you can get really criticized if you don't win, but we just could not put, a, put T in a position against a defense like that because he just, you know, hadn't seen that really. So uh, later on, he, he's winning games for us because he matured in the passing game, and uh, but at that particular point, he just uh, he just wasn't quite there. But he made the great throws to to win the game. Talked about the defense there, Al Wilson earlier. Would you say this was a championship team? Maybe not won by the defense, but led by the after defense? we beat Florida. You know, I mean, because that had been our kind of our Achilles' heel, you know, for for a number of years. And I've, I've told a lot of people, and when I spoken stuff if they had had the playoff system then that they have now uh, you know we would have likely been in four at least four of those playoffs final fours but interestingly enough so would Florida you know in, in most of those cases it was unusual to have two teams like that in the same division at the same time and and uh, but once we beat them yeah there was that opened the door for a lot of things to happen because you know we had done well against Florida, uh, Alabama, we had done well against Georgia, you know, the rest of the schedule, you know, we, we could manage and obviously it wasn't, it wasn't that easy, uh, obviously, but it was particularly the Arkansas game, which I'm sure will come up in a minute, yeah. but, uh, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a very good team and, you know, it kind of got tagged early there as the, a team of destiny, you know, which, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, it was living on some of the things that the other teams prior to them had done, you know, by name, and, and, but they knew how to win. You know, they, they, they took that and they knew how to win and, and, and go get it done. Was there a specific point in that season where you thought, hey, we got a chance to make a run at all here? I did about then. You know, I mean, I really did. Getting past that game with Florida, not, not that we didn't have a ton of problems, but we had a lot of good players. Uh, they were maturing all the time. They, we, you know, if you look back to years before, we had played a lot of people. And uh, it was, so it wasn't like we were inexperienced and we were building depth. And if we had an injury like we did with Jamal, you know, somebody else was there to step up and, and uh, all, those, all those kind of things that were, you know, were really important that the other teams had done. And they were just able to get over that hump. Look down on the schedule next. You got Auburn, seventeen to nine. You know another defensive effort. Auburn's a great football team. It was a great football team then, and had, had two plays. One, Sean Ellis takes it the distance on the fumble, and then we have the goal line stand. Again, we weren't clicking offensively particularly. Uh, had a couple turnovers in that game, I believe, and but uh, our defense again was carrying the day, and. Uh, we beat a really good Auburn team at Auburn. That was Jamal Lewis too with that with the ACL in there. He got hurt 
Yeah, uh, had a great run early in the ball game. It was a huge play, and then uh, right after that, uh, you know, tore his knee up. And you know that, that team never flinched after that. You know, Travis Henry and Travis Stevens go in, start doing their thing more. You know, and uh, that was um, there was a lot of character built around that team. Five minutes left for TV. Uh, with this team this year, you know, they're going to want to be the ones to do it 20 years later. What can they learn from the 1998 team? Well, I mean, character, work ethic, you know, but, but you have to, I mean, we're hopeful that always that, you know, you're going to be in a position to compete for championships. You know, our team right now is in a, is in a different place and, and is, you know, is looking for those leaders and, and those like we had. and. Those guys that can make plays that help you win ball games, and uh, they have been fun to watch the last week or so because they're finally learning how to practice better and work together. And you see, you see uh, guys getting on to other guys, you know, and and uh, that's that's the mark of when you got something special going. Do you talk to? Current players about your experience then, maybe for motivation, inspiration, that sort of thing. No, I mean that's this is Jeremy's team, and I don't really. Uh, if he asks, I will. And uh, I think way back, you know, may, I, I guess it was before Jeremy. I actually had a chance to talk to the team and tell them what we were looking for in the coach and those kind of things. But you know, that's not my place, you know, right now. I heard you. Talk I can talk to Jeremy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I heard you talk at the, the Knoxville Hall of Fame, you know, last week, talking about that Florida State uh, championship game and just said when y'all went to Arizona, you know, you had no doubt in your mind that uh, that was going to be a win. Can you talk a little bit more? No, about I, I really I really felt great about, you know, getting that done because we'd beaten some good teams and, you know, we were Arkansas and Mississippi State down, down late and we were getting – we were getting better, and that team was so unselfish. It didn't matter them. But the Georgia game, Georgia game on offensively, we started playing much better. T uh, T got in the in the groove, and and we were protecting him better, and the defense was still playing good. So, you know, I, I really I really felt great in the, in the stretch, and and they were very confident. Not cocky, not not arrogant or anything, but they were very confident. Our team was very confident we could go and. And, uh, and and beat Florida State. Interesting enough, though, is, you know, David had gone on to Duke, you know, so we're planning the offense, you know, to, to, together. It probably helped us a little bit because all of a sudden they weren't, you know, the guy that's calling all the plays and things wasn't there necessarily. So, you know, Randy and I put our heads together and we got a plan, but it was, Florida State was so good on defense it was like three or four days before the game before we finally set on, settled on, okay, these are two or three or four plays that running, running plays that we think will work because they were so good. You know, we'll get two or three yards when we try. And it turned out we ran the ball better than that. But we, we felt all the time that we were going to be able to hit the big play on them. So that was, and that's how it happened, basically. We got, it, got the lead. And then we were able to run the ball effectively enough to keep keep the lead. What was a, a classic game for you on that schedule? Was it Arkansas that you mentioned earlier or was it Florida? Only classic would be the right, the right, the bit the, for, for Arkansas. That was an unusual game. You know, yeah. they're a good team. We're a good team. They played better than we did. And we, we, we went, won it down the stretch by, you know, just sheer toughness in getting it done. But the game that was the key to the game was the season was the Georgia game. I think, and I went to Georgia, Athens and had a big win and played our best and played our best as a team. I why, think. Why would you say that was the key though uh, throughout the season? Well, it was kind of the hump, you know, the middle of the season. We, we were uh, um, close to the middle of the season. Uh, I think we were picked as an underdog again, you know, and, and uh, they were a good team. And that got, I thought, got us over the hump. Arkansas was huge. I mean, obviously they were eighth or ninth in the country, something like that. Uh, but. I thought Georgia was where we came into our own offensively, and that gave that let us be a complete team. You good? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thank y'all.